Hi, my name is Barney, and before I get started, I just need to let you know that I'm not a PJ Golf Pro, I'm just your average golfer, and I'm actually out on the course for a change. And in this video, I'm going to show you what I did to stop three putting. Because, like average golfers, when we are playing our pro shots at the green, we don't manage to hit it straight over the top of the flag with backspin and zip it back to the hole and stop it within two feet. We're just happy we're on the green, and because of that, we then have and be fairly sizable putts. So I've got about 10 or 12 feet here. And what I started to do was use dustbin lid technique. You may be familiar with that. That's where you have a two foot circle around the hole and you look to put it into that two foot circle, tap it into your next shot. But I found that didn't really work for me. What I did do was then realize that, well, if I want to then putt up to the hole for a second shot, where do I want my second ball to, my second putt to come from? So instead, what I did was investigate around the hole, see where I want that putt to come from, and then I draw a two foot circle around that area. So I'll show I can demonstrate. I've got a putt up here, and all I'm gonna do is look at the hole here. Slightly uphill, and I wanna leave my putt somewhere around here. So by drawing this circle in a different area, and not around the hole, what I found is that my putting stroke improved. I became more relaxed because I wasn't staring at the hole anymore. I was now staring at a point on the green. And therefore, because I was in a more relaxed, I was making a better stroke on the putt. And then every time you walk up, just tap in your second shot. Something like this. So I left myself a nice, easy uphill putt, and a little tapping. 